Hey there, my name's Adam, your friendly Sasquatch. In my personal use case scenario, what I'm doing is I'm powering my house with this particular power bank. Now my house can obviously pull a lot more power than this little battery can actually store, but that's okay. What I do is I take my Honda EU 3500 and I run it to pull things like my refrigerators, I run my furnace fan, that way if it's cold it can heat the house and whatnot. I charge my Goal Zero battery while the generator is running. And then when this battery is fully charged, I turn the generator off. What I can do is I can power lights and stuff around the house for, you know, 10, 12 hours. Um, I can charge my phone, I can uh, watch TV, I can do whatever I want just like the power was normally on. You do need to manage your storage capacity. Now the reason I went this direction instead of getting a bigger Yeti is, um, you know, the Yeti 3000X and then the 6000X are quite a bit more expensive and I figured for that extra money, I could go buy a gas generator to top this thing off whenever I need. But this will be the primary device powering my house for most of the day in a power outage situation, which means I'll be saving a tremendous amount of fuel, enabling me to run my hybrid setup for significantly longer than if I just had a generator. And of course, between generator top-offs, I can always use my splitter here to add some additional solar capacity to this power station to keep it trickle charging as I'm draining the battery throughout the day. I hope you found this video review informative. If you did, make sure to hit that like button below. It helps the channel out a lot. And don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell icon so you're the first to be notified when I release new videos just like this one. Cheers.